Welcome back to Rebels this week. The first time we've brought you highlights from one of the exciting games here at the NMAC Centrum. We're into the new year now, right into the middle of January, the busiest whole month of the season for your Red Deer Rebels. Eight games here at the NMAC Centrum in January. And the Rebels, as we pick them up in the standings, coming up all of a sudden on the Medicine Hat Tigers, making themselves a factor in the race for the Central Division lead. Very exciting times for your Red Deer Rebels after a number of trades leading up to the deadline. Very exciting times here at the NMAX Centrium on Friday night, 80s night, the largest crowd of the year with more than 5,800 fans in the stands and a visit from the Victoria Royals, who the Rebels always, always battle to the bitter end with. Let's see how this one unfolded. Boards, it goes to the blue line, Gagnon keeps it in, here's Soy, right side to Walker in front, Chase scores! Greg Chase wide open in front of the net, he puts it home. We're in the first minute of the first period, it's 1-0 Victoria. Side to Sheen, into the Victoria end, down the left wing, shoots it, glove save, made by Volrath, he covered it. Carroll checked on the play by Maxwell, oh he gets hit hard by McGee, and a penalty coming up. As Maxwell gets up slow and McGee's going to the box. And the Rebels are about to get a power play. Eight minutes into the first. Pass up the left side. Phaser comes in. Phaser pass. Polinchuk shot. Save made by Volrath. Best chance of the Rebels so far tonight. Puck along the boards. McGee will get it out. Comes in on the left side. Gives it to Soy. Soy shoots it. Gloves. Saved by Till. They get back near the blue line. Give the puck to Kopech. He will come out in front. Shoots. Loose puck. Scores! Preston Kopech came out of the corner. He puts it on net. Maxwell went in to maybe jam it in. I'm not sure if it was in already or not, but the game's tied at one. All the way around and coming in is Detzel, keeps it in. Muso will shoot it right. Pad save made by Volrath. Two minutes to go in the first, we're tied at one. Right side to Chase, pass across at Bragamov, shoots it, saved by Toth, and he'll cover it up. Trying to get it low, pushed off of it by Walker, and it comes out. Here comes Chase trying to get by Cote. Greg Chase, oh, great play by Cote to knock it away. And Detzel will take it behind the net and then loft it all the way down, right on goal. Volrath's got to play it. Kopech gets to it. To Maxwell. Shot. Save. Volrath. Rebound. Oh, what a save by Volrath. You've got to be kidding. But it is brought out by McGee. Up to Forsberg. Comes into the Rebel zone. Can't get by. Flurry. The pass. The shot. The save made by Toth with the left pad. Carroll to the line. Hickett. Shot. Save by Toth. And he'll hold on. We're tied at one with 6.53 to go in the second. They'll come down the left wing. Three on two for Rendier. In over the line, across. Kopech, shot saved by Volrath. And he'll cover it up as the Rebels work a pretty good three on two. Cote into the corner to, walk, uh, to Wyatt Johnson. Pass through the middle, picked off by Chase. He's trying to split the middle. Here's Greg Chase, shot saved. Made by Tolt with the right pad. Penalty coming up. He waits now to Carroll, oh, jam it on that, saved by Toth, and the rebound, he covers that up. We're tied at one, we're in the third. Sheen will give it to Bleakley, comes out, down the left wing, in over the Victoria line, Bleakley, shot, oh, just off the knob of the stick of Volrath and out of play. As we're in overtime, he'll get in over the Rebel blue line, he'll shoot it, pad save made by Toth, and Paul and Chuck will get it out. Data Musil into the Victoria zone, Musil right corner, Musil in front of the net, Bovick scores! It's waved off! They're waving it off! Paul and Chuck had gone to the net and they're waving it off! Well, Musil had it on the right wing. He put it off the corner of the side of the net. It comes in front of the goal. And Bobak wires it home. And was Paul and Chuck in front of the net? Well, most certainly. In the crease? Definitely. Uh, I don't know that he was ever touching the net mind. <laughs> As we're in the shootout here at the NMAX Century, and what has been some game here tonight between the Rebels and the Victoria Royals. Okay, Connor Gay will start it off as he goes wide to the right. Gay will wait, backhand, saved by Volrath. McGee takes his time, takes his time, shoots off the post. Playing his old team. 
Here comes Cote, takes it to the right, brings it back to the middle, shot, save made by Volrath. Now Austin Carroll will shoot. Eighth in Western League scoring coming into tonight's action. He is a shooter, here comes Carroll. Carroll, blast it home and it's over. Carroll goes five hole, game over. Royals win it in an extended shootout. 2-1 will be the final. There you have it. In the end, a heartbreaking shootout loss for your Red Deer Rebels by a final score of 2-1. Of course, the biggest play of the game, the controversial waving off of the Colton Bobbick goal in overtime. Here's what GM and head coach Brent Sutter had to say about that play. You know, they pushed our guy in there, and then their guy released and went out. And then our, our guy, you know, stayed in the crease and didn't allow the goalie to be able to react to a shot so you know I guess you can take it some some games it's called some games it's not tonight tonight they called it you know what I, I thought our our start wasn't very good we had we didn't have a good first period we were soft on pucks uh, we lost a lot of battles but then we got playing in the second and the third I thought we were the better hockey team in the third and we had some we certainly had some quality scoring chances here tonight you know and then you he had opportunities in the shootout to win too, and it just wasn't meant to be. So yeah. we'll we'll take the one point, and it was a hard-fought game, and we'll uh, get ready for tomorrow night. Both goalies were very good, including Ryan. Oh, Ryan uh, they both they both both played extremely well. You know, they were it was uh, tit for tat with both of them. It yeah. was uh, they didn't one make a save, the other make a save. So it was uh, it was certainly a goaltending duel here tonight. One of the definite bright spots for the Red Deer Rebels in this game, another superb goaltending performance from Ryland Toth. In fact, both goaltenders, Toth and Taz Berman, have been strong for the Red Deer Rebels of late, and that will be nothing but good for this Red Deer Rebels hockey club as they head down the stretch. So again, a very tough result for Red Deer Rebels fans to take, but in the end, it looks like their officials did get the call right. Grayson Polinchek was in the crease, perhaps a little bit too close to Coleman Volrath, impeding his chance to make the save on Colton Bobbick's shot. Regardless, another very important point for your Red Deer Rebels in the Eastern Conference standings. They're right back in action Saturday night, their fourth game in five nights this week against the Regina Pats. We'll bring you all the highlights right here on Rebels This Week.